Welcome everybody. My name is Aurelia Johnson and I'm a career education specialist with Workforce Solutions and today I have with me my two colleagues. Hi everybody, my name is Richard Prather. Hello, my name is Celeria Washington. So take a look at this picture. Believe it or not, we were once your age and guess what? We get it. So if it's your first time, no worries. We're here to help. And here's how we can help. So today we're going to cover a couple of topics. We're going to tell you about virtual employability skills and what that means. So we're going to start with what the definition of a virtual interview is. Then we're going to show you an example of a don't in a virtual interview. Also, we're going to go over some quick tips to help you prepare for your virtual interview and then some great career pathway options. And finally, we're going to close with Q&A, which is question and answers. As you all are aware, COVID-19 has forced us into a new way of life. We now have to do all of our daily essential activities online, such as meetings and classrooms and now virtual interviews. And I'm sure you want to know what exactly is a virtual interview. So I'm going to provide you with the definition. A virtual interview is a job interview that leverages video technology to allow the discussion to take place remotely. Rather than meeting face to face, the hiring manager and candidate will connect with each other online using video software. So in other words, a virtual interview is just a job interview online. So now that you know the definition and concept of a virtual interview, we're going to show you how not to conduct a virtual interview. OK, tell me why you think we should hire you for the position. Because y'all called me, so that seemed like y'all was thirsty. I, I didn't call y'all, y'all called me. And plus y'all said y'all was hiring. <laughs> you sound dumb. You don't remember? Y'all put a sign up there saying we're hiring. That's why. OK, for the available date to start work, I see you put ASAP. Well, I don't want y'all to call me this weekend because I'm going to a party, so it could be like not Monday because I'm still trying to get over getting drunk for the weekend. So probably like Tuesday or Wednesday. And don't call me in the morning time. Call me like at nighttime and stuff because I don't like answering my phone. I'll snap on you if you call me early. I'll go off on you. I'll cuss you out. OK, are you available to work the weekends? All right, so that video was interesting, wasn't it? Uh, so what did we learn from that video? One of the things we want to make sure we don't insult the person that's interviewing us, right? So he called the person dumb. Um, he wasn't wearing the right attire. He wasn't really sure of his answers. And what else can we think about? Well, for one, let's make sure that we are always prepared for our interview so that no matter what, we are going to look great in the interview. Now, how many of you guys actually really test your technology? What I mean by that is, have you really checked to see if your Wi-Fi is actually strong enough? Maybe, maybe not. But if you have five or six or eight people in your house and they're all on the Wi-Fi, your signal is going to be strong. Remember, no Wi-Fi, no job. So make sure that you have a great, strong signal. All you have to do is tell people, hey, I'm going to have an interview for the next 15, 20 minutes. If you don't mind, if you can not use the Wi-Fi at this time so I can have a great presentation. Next, you want to check to make sure your camera and your microphone are actually working. For example, if you got fingerprints all over your camera, go ahead and get some tissue and wipe it off. We want to make sure we have a clear image of who you are. And we want to make sure the microphone is actually picking up the sound in a great way. How do we test this? Simple. Let's just call one of your friends and make sure they tell you they can hear you and see you clearly. Now, this next one is what a lot of people get mixed up on. If you are not plugging your device up, there's a chance that you could lose power and not be able to get the results that you're looking for. Remember, no charge, no job. So now let's set the stage and let's learn a little bit why it's so crucial to have a great stage setting for a great virtual interview. So background. So if I were to ask you to turn on your camera right now, what would I see? 
Are you snacking on a bag of hot Cheetos and you have orange fingers and teeth? Hmm. So the proper surroundings are very important. Our suggestion would be to have a light plain wall. Distractions. What are some distractions that you're dealing with at this very moment? Is it a loud pet? Is it a crying sibling? Or maybe even a noisy neighbor? Our suggestion would be find a quiet space or maybe a corner before the interview begins so you would make sure all distractions are eliminated. And finally, natural light. Now we all know about natural light because we all like a what? A great selfie. So many people get this wrong, but did you know that light should always be facing you and not behind you? This could make the difference between your interviewer seeing a shadow or having a great, clear, crisp picture of your face. Okay, so now that you set your stage, you now have to look the part, you have to dress for success. I'm sure you're wondering what exactly is dress for success? Uh, you may think that it is wearing your Sunday's best. Uh, yes, you can do that, however, you must look industry appropriate. So take a look in the mirror. If you have on your pajamas, your t-shirt, your sweats, that's something that you may not want to wear to an interview. Something that you could wear would be something maybe business casual attire because you cannot go wrong with that. It's always safe to be business casual attire. That means examples such as wearing a polo shirt, a nice button down, um, for young ladies, you can wear a blouse that's preferably not low cut. Those are a few examples of how to look apart for the interview. Also, make sure that you wear plain clothes, plain colors such as blue, green, purple, red, or yellow. Those are a few examples, but that doesn't mean that if you don't have those colors, you can't go to the interview. Those are just some colors that will make you, you know, look the part and stand out in your interview. And also avoid overpowering patterns. So no busy, busy patterns such as tie dye or graphics. And another thing, I know that you think it's cool to wear your earrings, your facial piercings, but make sure that you remove those because you want to look professional at all times. So now that you have your tips to look the part, you've tested your technology, now it's time for you to be on your way to your career pathway. Remember everybody, the reason why we're going through all this is because we want to prepare you for that long-term goal of that great career. Your first job out of high school or your first job is most likely going to be working in retail or an office administration setting. That's okay, but what we're doing, we're building up our time, our energy, so that way we can be, get towards that really good career pathway. Ladies, just so you know, it's okay. If you really want to become an electrician, you can be. Gentlemen, if you want to become a nurse, you can be. We want you guys to know whatever career pathway is your desired pathway, don't let other people tell you that you cannot do it. You can, and you will work hard to get there, and we're here to help you make sure that happens. Now, everybody is not successful starting out. You want to make sure that you sign up for hashtag get paid 2020, because if an employer is looking to hire 20 people and there are 30 of you guys, that means 10 of you guys won't be successful, but that's okay. We want you guys to be successful no matter what. So go ahead and text hashtag get paid 2020 to 40691, and then someone will reach out to you to set you up for the very next job interview. And hopefully with all these skills you learned today, you will apply them and be one of the selected few. If you like everything you've heard today and you have further questions, not to worry. You can always hit us up on Instagram, uh, just inbox us a question or just follow us and you'll be able to get all the information that we've talked about today and more.